My name's Janetta Smith, I'm an animal behaviourist and my company's Furry Little Monsters. I'm here today to talk about some of the issues around cat behaviour. I'm going to go through a few tips regarding cats that chew um, quite excessively. One of the issues that many of the pedigree cats like Siamese and Burmese are prone to is something called PICA, P-I-C-A, which is to do with fabric chewing. This can be related to being weaned too, too um, young, too early, um, and they, what they do is they fabric chew. So it can be stress related and it can be separation anxiety issue. So if you provide plenty of chew toys in replacement for those sort of things, like a little piece of gristle meat on bones so they can actually chew, um, chew toys such as Nyla bones, which are dog toys, but they're plastic toys impregnated with um, flavour and they can chew to their heart's content, or large rubber toys. Uh, also things like scratching posts with strips of wood up them, because often they'll chew wood or trees or something like that. So again, providing all the things that they can do to avoid them chewing areas that you don't want them to chew. Also another thing with stress is providing plenty of mental stimulation. So activity toys like hiding food around in boxes, um, in little houses, in uh, cat boxes, in crinkle bags, those sort of things. So they've got to find those, um, stimulate them. Also things like using cat nipping toys which can sort of stimulate the senses. Um, Chewing is one of their natural instincts, so again, trying to replicate that in another way is the best way of dealing with it. Also providing a good diet, a good natural preservative-free diet, will also give them enough intake that they don't need to chew um, other things in replacement of. So these are the things that you need to sort of take into account if you've got a cat that chews more so than normally.